This lesson is going to teach you how to draw um, a prepped dragon so you can use it for a Zentangle project. So um, you might see some light lines on my paper because I've lightly sketched out what I want to draw just to make it a little easier to show you. Um, but I am using a long sheet of paper. Um, my paper is an 18 inch, so it's a um, 14 by 18 page. Um, and I'm going to go the length of the page with my dragon. So I'm going to start the head up here at the top of the page. And when I do the dragon, I'm going to start with his snout area. So I'm just going to go ahead and make that snout. Um, I'm using Sharpie. I do recommend that you start with pencil because you can always go back and edit as you need to or erase if you have a pencil. So let's see here. I'm just going to draw the shape of that dragon snout and then right here I'm kind of curving up because that's where I'm going to take it up over the eye. Okay, so the eye is going to end up going in here. So this is my dragon snout. Um, just to kind of give you an idea of placement, here's the top of my page. I'm just a couple fingers in from the side um, to make that and about about four fingers, five fingers down from the top where I started. Um, I am going to add just a little nostril here for my dragon's nose. Okay, and then the next thing that I'm going to do is add a space for the eye. So on the eye, I am just going to go ahead and start with a rainbow shape and then a smile underneath it. And then I'm going to draw the dragon's eye inside, leaving just a little bit of opening at the top and the bottom because I'm going to make it look like the eye is inset from my outline like that okay all right so the next thing for my dragon i'm going to give him some kind of i guess you'd call them like whiskers that come up from the nose I did two of those right on top of the snout okay it's a little more clear i think i'm going to give him some spikes on top of his head so to do those spikes, they kind of look like dinosaur teeth. And they're just going to rest right on top of the forehead area. And I'm going to do three of those. Now if you have space and you want to do more, you can always add more if you want to. Okay. Um, the next thing I'm going to do for mine is give him a little bit of a lip. So I am just coming in and adding a lip right under that snout and then underneath that lip I'm going to give him some teeth and those teeth are going to kind of look like the same spikes that we drew at the top. Okay, so I, did, I was able to fit three teeth in my mouth. Um, here I'm just going to fill in the space of the head that comes in under the eye. So this is going to come right underneath the eye area and back to form a point. It's going to come around the lip and then I'm going to come down to make the mouth section. So the mouth is just going to curve right underneath the teeth and then it's going to curve back around towards the back of the head. Okay. Now at the back of that line I'm just going to add some zigzags. These are just like kind of spikes that come out from the back of the dragon's head, like so. Okay, I'm going to do his jaw. So the jaw is going to come right underneath that mouth that we just drew. And it is going to curve down with a chin. And then back to the back of the head area. Okay. Um, I'm going to come back up here and just kind of zigzag around the spikes that I already had. And then I'm going to come up to the top of the head and make some giant spikes that come out. Okay. 
and then come back and connect to the bottom. So that's the basic format to our dragon's face. Okay, I am going to give him a tongue that comes out from his mouth. So his tongue is going to be long and narrow. has kind of a split at the end, almost like a snake's tongue might be. Okay. And some whiskers on his chin. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is um, prep for the outline of his back. And for his back, he's going to have some spikes, lots of spikes that come out on his back. So I'm just kind of making a few spikes up here at the front. But I'm going to take a little break because I want to um, give him a little bit of a back so I know where those spikes are going to go in the direction that they want them to go. So I'm just kind of making a what I would call kind of like an S shape that goes down for his body. Um, and it's going to continue to go down. Let's see, I lost you on my paper. Let me slide mine up. It's going to continue to go down to make the tail. So like I said, I'm just kind of making a series of curved lines. And then I'm going to stop right there just to save it um, for the tail space. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and come back up. I was working on spikes for his back, so I'm going to continue on those. Um, the spikes don't have to be the same size or uniform, so like I said, I'm just kind of making almost like an ocean wave shape as I make my spikes along the back area. I'm going to slide my paper up once again so you can see. Hello. Hey, Rachel. How are you? <laughs> my apologies for that. It never fails. The phone rings while I'm recording. You get to hear a little bit from Mr. Payton today there. So anyways, um, before I took that phone call, we were working on um, just adding spikes to the back of our dragon. So once again, they kind of look like ocean wave type shape. And then when I get down to the end, I'm actually going to go ahead and give my dragon a tail. Um, so to do that, I'm just making more spikes. like so, okay? So I have the back of my dragon. Now I need to work on my dragon's tummy and arms and legs. Um, so I'm gonna come down underneath the, the eye, chin area, and the first thing I'm gonna do is draw an arm for my dragon. And my arm's gonna be a little bit thicker at the base, but then when it comes up here to the elbow bend, it gets pretty thin, so it's gonna be kind of a skinny arm like that. Okay, then I'm going to give um, my dragon some claws or fingers, whatever you want to call them. Okay, and there's my dragon's arm. And like I said, I just kind of placed that down below the eye area. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to give my dragon a leg. I'm just going to place it... Um, be, it's going to be kind of to the right of the arm, and then I'm going to come down. It's going to be the same type of shape, so it's going to start out wider at the top. And then when you get to that elbow area and it bends, it's going to get a little bit narrower. A few claws or fingers here. And then I didn't worry too much about making mine the same size as the arm up here, just because I know that um, arms and legs are not always the same size. Okay, so don't worry about it being uniform in size. So now I have my legs and arms placed. I just need to go back and um, draw in where that belly line is going to go. So I'm going to go ahead and come around my arm. And I'm going to circle around where the tummy is. Okay, so um, after you draw that line down the belly, we're just going to come back up. This time it's going to go under the arm and it's just going to connect where we started, okay? 
So I'm going to slide my picture up and we're going to do another one of those shapes that come down around the tummy and towards the back leg. Like so. Okay, we're going to continue to do that. Um, do a little one there and then I'm going to do another one down towards the tail area. And then back up. Okay. So while I'm down here by the tail, I'm going to just add a little bit of detail here. I'm kind of outlining the shape of the tail. I say outlining, it's more of an inside line. And then I'll do another. That way it just has a little bit of depth, like there's some shape inside of it, okay? So this is the basic format of our dragon. Um, the next step is going to be to start zentangling it and adding shape and dimension to it. I was looking up here at the neck of mine, and I do think I want to add one more line up here. I just feel like it's kind of missing a little something. So I'm going to do one more of those lines here just to kind of frame that area in just a tad. Okay, so the next step is to do Zentangle. Zentangle is fun because Zentangle is filling in spaces with all sorts of lines and design patterns. So I have my sticky note here. I'm just going to show you a few things that you could do. So you could fill in spaces with groups of lines like this. I'm just continuing to make that same design pattern. It repeats itself until you fill in a space, okay? You could fill in an area with scales. So this would look more like a fish or a mermaid tail. You could fill in a space with dots. You could do it with zigzags. You could do it with diagonals. You could do it with stripes. So all different kinds of line designs. So I'm going to start out in my eye, and I'm actually going to fill in my eye with line design. And I'm doing just lines that go um, in the same direction. Okay, so I filled in the eye area with line design. Um, I'm going to come up here to the spike. This one I think I'm going to do more almost like a plaid. So I'm going to do lines that go across in one direction, and then they're going to come back over in another direction. Okay, I think I'm going to do that on all of my horns on my dragon just to keep it consistent. Yours might look different. You might have a different pattern inside of yours and that's fine. It does not have to look exactly like mine. So like I said, the, the object of a Zentangle is just to fill everything in with line design and pattern. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Like I said, I decided to do all of mine the same. Yours could be done in different patterns and that would be okay. All right, so the next area that I'm going to fill in, um, I think I'm going to do the leg. I'm going to do with just dots. I'm just going to do random um, stippling here is what we would call that for art. Fill that in with that kind of pattern. And it will take a few minutes, but I'm just going to continue that design until that whole leg is filled in. Okay, so I have that one done and ready. Um, I think I'm going to leave the nostril hollow, but I do want to fill in this shape of the head. Um, and I think on this one, I am going to do um, a pattern of lines. So I'm just going to do groups of three lines going in different directions. And it's okay if some of them are longer and some of them are shorter. And I'm just going to continue that same pattern of 
groups of three lines side by side until I have that whole section filled in. Kim Blaze brought this over. And so, so my apologies for that. Somebody came into the room as I was recording there. So um, like I said, I'm just taking that pattern, that line design, I'm gonna fill in this whole section with that three line pattern. Okay, so I finished my pattern design up here above the eye and along the snout of the dragon. And now I'm coming in where the mouth is and I'm doing another type of pattern. So just remember that anytime you zentangle, that zentangle is just a series of repeating patterns over and over and over again. So the goal is to fill in the dragon completely with several different patterns until the entire body is all filled in. So I'm going to stop here for now. I will post a completed picture of mine once it's done, but I do want you to get creative and try to fill in your line design patterns um, uniquely and different from mine. I don't expect yours to look just like mine will. So um, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. I'm going to let you guys have some time to work on your zentangles, and I look forward to seeing how they finish up.